Robert the Rabbit and the Tale of Evolution This is Robert the Rabbit. He is a passionate science enthusiast, especially when it comes to studying evolution. Today, he's diving into the fascinating world of how his ancestors changed over time to eventually shape him. Robert's study starts with his friend Charles Darwin. Charles, an English naturalist, is known for his work on the theory of natural selection. Charles sailed on a ship called the HMS Beagle to study science around South America. The expedition took him to the Galapagos Islands, which had lots of biodiversity. While exploring the Galapagos Islands, Charles saw that different birds had different beaks based on the types of food the island they were on would produce. Islands with more seeds and nuts had birds with broad, blunt beaks. Islands with more insects had birds with long, pointy beaks. This led him to hypothesize that these birds descended from a common ancestor, adapting their beaks over time to better suit their diets. So, evolution is the process through which new organisms develop from their ancestors. It involves various mechanisms. One mechanism is natural selection. Robert had a change in his DNA called a mutation. This caused him to grow brown fur instead of white fur, like the rest of his village. His brown fur helps camouflage him from the ferocious forest foxes in the village. This gives Robert a better chance of hiding and surviving his predators because he is better adapted. In Robert's ancestor's village, most of the rabbits had really big tails, but some had small tails. Randomly, due to a chance event, the village began to have more rabbits with small tails than big tails. This is called genetic drift, which randomly affects small populations. Gene flow, on the other hand, involves the movement of genes between populations. Robert's ancestors used to live in a cold town and had to have thick coats, but they moved to a new, warmer town and introduced their thick coat genes to their new neighbors who all had thin coats. Now, there's a mix of rabbits with thick and thin coats. This shows how gene flow can lead to a lot of different traits among different populations. Some of Robert's cousins, living as pets in the big city, experience artificial selection. Their human owners prefer rabbits with big ears, so they match big-eared rabbits together so that their babies will also have big ears. This is much faster than natural selection, mostly happening in one generation. Robert's ancestors, shaped by their environment, interactions with other populations, and occasional chance, adapted and changed over many years. Without the process of evolution, Robert wouldn't be the unique rabbit we know today. The End